Hi there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This is going to be your next 48 hour reading. So hope you're doing really, really good. Asking the Oracle of Genetic Gifts that I have here from Etsy. The spiritual arts, artist, designer, singer, and a sculptor. Artist, designer, singer, sculptor. Augur. Oh, wow. That's nice. Spiritual master, seer, predictions, visionary. A visionary. You're the auger. Twitter platform, um, spiritual involvements or participations. Let's do, let's do one more. I don't think one more wants to come out actually. Okay, maybe. Pendulum reader, scrying, rune casting, dowsing. Ancestral line is older than earth, it says on the bottom of the deck. Older than earth. Spiritual arts, pendulum reader, or scrying, or rune casting. Rune casting's all right. Hmm. All right, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna keep on moving forward because I don't really see anything to stop that. <clears throat> of course, you really might be making something with your hands and it might be very literal with that spiritual arts and maybe it's jewelry or necklace. I have 18, child, 18, child, and wealthy man, wealthy man. Hey, anything else? Change. Looking like it wants to come in. Um because the change is like that. I feel like these are two of the same people here for you. Maybe not for everybody. Maybe some people might have separate, but I feel like the concerns coming here. Now, maybe it's an older person here and um, I don't know, a wealthy man, the child or a child and then change. 33 concern. Three concern. Okay, okay. Let's see. So we're gonna figure out basically what is wanting to change because that's what I think this is about, or some kind of change. Anything else? False person in the reverse. In the reverse. I don't know. Is that like a, someone's not who they say they are taking off the mask? Maybe there's somebody else. It's not like a false or bad person. Just not um, maybe who you thought. I don't know. Bottom of the deck is journey. Number 10, the journey. <clears throat> okay, Gemini, this is your reading going a little, it's a little strange. It's a little strange. It's, it's a little um, puzzling. Also, with that card, Pendulum Reader, I'm picking up something with that scrying word, too, of kind of like being very aware of everything um, that has some kind of like pattern or scrying ability to it. Like, a, like if you're at a restaurant with the booth and the grains of wood, 
like something about the grains of wood like pay attention to um finding some kind of message within whatever it is at the time that you're looking at I mean, and then seeing, just acknowledging them. I think you get more messages the more you acknowledge. Okay. Okay, three of wands on the bottom of the deck. Three of wands on the bottom of the deck has to do um, with expansion growth but it's also that state like a really free state where you feel like um you can really move past the planning stage current energy that you're in oh wow is the two of cups this is really good if it's about making decisions it's maybe making decisions together so maybe it's talking about a family um but it's definitely whoever it's talking about making decisions with others but and it's being um it's successful too. It's successful at harmonious partnerships. It's kind of like something's in the air with this card. Um, look at the energy keeping you grounded. Ten of coins in the reverse, working on something from a past connection um, or from a family connection. Past energy, the ten of swords, you want it to be in the reverse. You really do want that. Um, it is because it's like whatever painful time, tormenting time, whatever it was, um, it's, it was over and it had reinvented itself or you had reinvented yourself crowning you another 10, seriously, 10, 10, 10. And I know, no, we shuffled these 10 of ones, 10, 10, 10. Major completions. The number three is standing out to me now um, because of the three tens, because of the 33 person for concern. And now I have something about the 13. So 10 of wands is kind of, big, it's exhausting. It's doing a whole lot. <clears throat> but it seems like there's some kind of peace in partnerships here. Um, that you have future energy. Wow. The lovers, if there ever was a sign for either somebody to enter your life or this is, this is the, um, junction and th this is perhaps the person that's supposed to help with whatever the 10 of coins is advice is to put the past behind, especially the past where we uh, felt like we were at a loss. Three of Wands. This has a person on a trip, a journey, a voyage, um, look, being able to be at a view where they're looking ahead. And you can see even the plane is in the sky. There's expansion. There's growth. There's um soaring high. It's kind of like a, a feeling with this card. Soaring high. Vision, a visionary, or having um vision. So, wow. Somebody's not who they say they are. Somebody's uh, better than something, um, or it hasn't, I don't know, something Something good is happening with this, too. The Ten of Coins in the reverse. Keeping you grounded is kind of a, sounds like a problem when it comes to finances, or a problem with something needing to uh, maybe be shared. The emperor. Oh, okay. So maybe, maybe this was having to go through some kind of institution in order to end something or in order to, uh, 
Well, do what's needed or do, yeah, well, do what is needed. Um, asserting yourself, finding, you know, your own inner power and authority. And, the, and maybe it's talking about the main authority or um, sometimes I look at this as the person that has the strategy, the winning strategy, not just the strategy, but the winning strategy. Maybe it was somebody that had concern for something in the past. Um, I don't know, because of what to see, to make sure that you're out of, of whatever situation this is. With the Ten of Blades in the reverse. So whatever situation it is that keeps you um, hurt, like making sure that you're out of a hard, betrayed type position. The Ten of Wands, you can't keep doing everything for everyone else. It's a really stressful um, card. It's no longer really wanting to have divine patience. It's here. It's like, ah, I'm just tired. Um, nine of swords in the reverse. It's kind of telling you to let, let go of your hold um, on this darkness here. Let go of your hold on um, feeling a certain way. Like you're not, um, there's not a certain way they, uh, that you're supposed to feel <laughs> like like, you don't have to uh, hold on to this dark feeling. I don't know. Um, it comes with negative thinking or thoughts of <clears throat> how to change things that um, truly we cannot. So, I think it's getting past, um, well, it's coming to a completion with how much you can carry. But it is a completion. So, you didn't drop anything. It's... Um, before exhaustion, just like set it aside as not my problem. Look at that. Three, three. I mean, really? Three, three, three. Okay. Tell me about the two of cups, the partnership and the lovers. Tell me about the two of cups. So you've probably met somebody, um, Okay, putting yourself back out there uh, means taking a risk, even if it's a new relationship or new job. Um, but the first step in putting yourself back out there and be, is to definitely be vulnerable by releasing the pain that was in your heart or residing in your heart. Or, um, or any, like, deeply rooted family or... Um, money situations this is is taking a risk or a chance but it's brave bold it's the courage to open the heart space up again and it's letting in soulmate energy with the two of cups and the lovers so gemini gemini or cancer virgo Aquarius, maybe, um, Sagittarius. So, three of wands in the reverse. Something that you didn't, another three, but something that you maybe didn't see coming. something that you may have not seen coming and it might be associated with this change over here um and this person tell me about this person coming in well there's a card for maybe um forgiveness some people it's second chances it doesn't always have to be it shouldn't just be like feeling like very um like you, like there's a new pathway <clears throat> or the pathway is enlightened. You're enlightened somehow. Free from judgment. 
and forgiveness is a very high high vibe so maybe forgiveness uh, maybe you're forgiving someone um the high priestess it's the high priestess card is saying that with them these maybe deeper issues that have gone on in maybe the family unit um the partnerships and that when it comes to crossroads uh, family decisions um there's something here about opening the heart again that makes you feel vulnerable this is a connected it feels like it's faded this uh eight of wands it could be even cupid but it's that you're gonna know you'll feel that energy and then it's for a completion too maybe when you meet somebody that's here for a completion with you that turns upright maybe that's the key to it you know to a completion yeah trust in a new start the full energy trust in a new start here gemini this is what i got pulling a uh, focus and pull away from games conflict and distraction if you can and um that's what i've got for you all uh let's pull okay let's pull from the fairy dust Keep going. The world at times is big and loud, but we'll make sure you're safe and sound. Rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away. Animal healing. No matter creature, earth, sky, or sea, animals show us how true love can be. And trust. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let go of doubt. Trust. That's what I've got. So if you want a private reading, you can reach out to me. My email address is in the description box below. And um, otherwise, till next time, I'm sending you love and light. Bye-bye.